natin si Kale Gamiao na taga Oahu, Hawaii. <laughs> Alright, so Kale, marunong ka ba mag-Tagalog? I, for me, I, I wish I could speak, but um, you know, I'm actually one of those people that were brought up in the in the English raised family, and but that's part of the the culture that I really, really wish that I got to experience. Okay, well, it's never too late to understand oh, yes. to understand and to to practice. But tell me about life in Hawaii. Sure, um, life in Hawaii is is very laid back. It's much different than, the, of course, than the U.S. mainland. Uh, so being able to grow up in Hawaii was a really great experience for me. Because maybe that's why your your demeanor is so gentle. Oh, no. You know, because you are you are you're very um, uh, well natured and no, you know you. well rounded. <laughs> but ever since I've I've met you, even when you're on stage, watching you. It's like you just enjoy yourself up there and you really feel that sense of, you know, wow, this guy's really like relaxed oh. and calm. <laughs> yeah, so growing up in Hawaii, I mean, that's how life is, right? It's very relaxed. Do you have the beach? Do you like going to the beach? Oh, or yes. is that like an understatement? Oh, <laughs> um, if I could live on the beach, I would. <laughs> okay. And how does living in Hawaii, how is that growing up? Um, how does that affect the music that you play? Well, in Hawaii, we have so much different cultures and ethnicities there. And it's quite amazing because Hawaii is a very small place. You know, on the map, if you put your finger on, on Hawaii, you pretty much cover the whole state. And to have so much different cultures there, it's hard not to be influenced by everyone. Mm -hmm. So the music scene over there, we get a little bit of of, you know, of course, Filipino influence, Japanese. I mean, we pretty much have almost every single culture you can think of crammed into one small place. So everybody collaborates. Everybody collaborates, everyone gets along, which is really, really unique about Hawaii because when we go there, when people come to Hawaii and they see someone who lives there, they ask, oh, um, you know, what kind of ethnic background do you, or do you have, you know? And a lot of us have more than three ethnicities. Yes, <laughs> it's, yes, it's, because it's just a mixture. Yeah. Yeah? So what, that, what we call that is a mixed plate. A because, mixed plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's kind of like the Hawaiian food, right? Yeah, exactly. You have a little bit of everything, and it's just all crammed into one sweet package. <laughs> I see. Uh, you, I know you grew up there as well yes and there are a lot of filipino americans that live in oh, hawaii yeah. there's a lot do you, and you also go to a lot of filipino community events right yes, yes. so tell me about uh what are the activities uh that filipino americans can do in hawaii well in hawaii almost everyone is part filipino oh it, really it's, it's quite amazing i think uh, besides you know having the hawaiians and the chinese and japanese filipino is one of the dominant races in in hawaii mm -hmm. And so the, the type of uh, you know, customs that we have in Hawaii are very, very similar to the ones in the Philippines. And so a lot of us grew up, grew up in you know, Filipino tradition homes. Um, but the thing is, is that uh, because the first Filipino immigrants came back and you know, came to Hawaii during the plantation days. Yes. Now that, that was a long time ago when the pineapple fields were going and the sugarcane fields yes. were, were you know, booming. It was a good business. And so now what's, what I, I love to see is that there's a lot of Filipino community events, there's fairs, um, there's some even like inaugurations going on and it's, a it's really cool because the Filipino community in Hawaii is thriving mm -hmm. and everyone has a big sense of pride. Yeah. Everyone's really proud. Mm -hmm. And so the only thing that I can, can say that Hawaii is lacking Mm -hmm. is a lot of uh, these Filipino Americans, especially my age, we grow up um, not um, being fully exposed to the culture, especially the language. Right. So uh, because we all go to an English school mm -hmm. and because there's so much, you know, ethnicities, we pick up a little bit of words from, you know, every, here everyone and there. here and there. Yeah. But no one, you know, probably maybe about 5% of, of everyone that, are, that is part Filipino, can Sp actually speak. Can speak Tagalog. Yeah. So give me some advice, okay? What mm -hmm. can we do for Filipino Americans your age to get them more into the Filipino culture and to learn more about 
what it means to be Filipino? Well, for one thing, is that when, when the child's young, speak to them in the language. Speak to them in Filipino, Tagalog. Okay. And um, what, what a lot of people don't really get to do is to visit the Philippines. Yes. And go experience where they come from and get in touch with their roots. Yes. That's the biggest thing that's lacking in Hawaii because Hawaii is considered paradise. And once yeah. you go there, you pretty much don't want to go back to anywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's very similar to the Philippines <laughs> yes. because of also the archipelago. And, oh, you know, yeah. So the Filipinos feel at home. They, some of them don't feel like you know, they want to go back. Yeah. But, of course, they still help their families back at home. Okay. Well, you promised you were going to teach me how to play. We didn't have time for that now. But when we return, Kale is going to teach <laughs> me how to play the ukulele. Don't go away here on Cabo Bayan today.